the rock and cups, but what's that on the side? We're going to turn this cake into these amazing pistachio wafers. Here's what you need, just four ingredients, flour, sugar, egg whites and pistachio nuts. Get a loaf pan and line it with baking paper. Stand it on the paper and draw a line around it and then some lines in the corners which you're going to cut. Now you're going to cut around the line and the corners and then you're going to press this paper into the tin. If the paper comes above the tin, it makes it easy to protect the mixture when it's cooked. Preheat the oven to 160 centigrade, 350 Fahrenheit. Now you're ready to start making the cake. Start with three egg whites and put them into a clean bowl. You're not going to use the egg yolks for this, so put them away for another use. Start whisking with an electric hand whisk and you'll see that it's beginning to be foamy. And then when it gets thick, I've speeded this up a bit, you'll see, you can add the sugar. There's 95 grams of sugar or three and a half ounces. Now just pour it in slowly while you keep whisking. And then you'll be ready to add the flour, exactly the same quantity. 95 grams of plain flour, three and a half ounces. But for this, it's better to strain it. This is also called sifting. And the reason for this is there aren't really many lumps in plain flour, but it just makes a smoother mixture to sift it through first. So then whisk it all up together now, all of the pistachio nuts and the other ingredients, and in a moment you will have the mixture ready. Here is the cake tin lined and ready. And using a spatula, keep stirring the mixture to make sure there are no stray bits of flour anywhere. And the spatula also helps you to get every last bit out of the bowl. With a knife, level off the top and then when you've done with that, push it onto the table and give it a few bangs and that'll help the mixture to settle. Cook the cake for about 30 minutes and then take it out. Now, to test if it's done, the easiest way is to take a strand of spaghetti obviously not cooked, and push it into the centre of the cake and then if it comes out dry, the cake is cooked. Leave it to cool. Turn the oven down to 140 centigrade, 275 Fahrenheit. Using either a very sharp knife or an electric carving knife, you're going to cut it into very thin slices and lay it on a tin covered with baking paper. The electric carving knife makes slightly thinner slices but do take care with your fingers. Cover the wafers with tin foil and cook them in the oven for about 10 minutes. Then turn them over for another 10 minutes and that way they won't overbrown. The loaf tin I used contains about 20 fluid ounces and it cuts into about 20 slices to make these pistachio wafers. Now here they are, ready to offer to your friends and for you to enjoy.